Hi, my name is Brian Williams, and I'm a senior backend engineer at GateLab. Today, I'd like to show you a quick demonstration of the new uh, keyless signing with cosign integration that's available on GitLab.com. Uh, what this is, is a tool that allows you to sign your container images with a cryptographically verifiable signature. And you can use that to control what images are able to be run in your production environment. So I have an example project set up here where I have uh, added signing to the end of the Docker build process. So this is a fairly typical Docker build where we have a Docker file and we would just build the Docker file and push the image to the registry. And if we're on the default branch, then we'll tag that image as latest. Uh, what the cosine integration here is doing is with just a few commands, we can also sign this image and store the signature in the container registry. There's a few things that need to happen in order to do this. Uh, we have the cosine yes, true variable. This is just to accept uh, like an end user agreement with, with Sigstore uh, to use uh, their infrastructure that they host for public, public usage. Um, then there is the ID tokens keyword. And what this does is it exposes uh, an authentication token and the CI job variables, which allows Cosign to authenticate to uh, Fosio, which is a service that issues temporary cryptographic keys. And so this lets us do both signing and verification without having to manage our own cryptographic keys. Uh, it's done using temporary ephemeral keys and it and the signatures can be verified uh, using a similar process that checks to ensure that the key used to sign the image was valid at the time that the image was signed. Uh, it does that using time stamping and transparency log and a few other things. So, with this job, we can sign our images. And there's very minimal setup on our part in order to do this. It's just a few changes to your GitLab CI YAML file. And you can see the result of this job here. We have the build step. Uh, you know, we pull the base image. And push the image, and that was successful. Then we have cosine, and it generated ephemeral keys, and used the signing certificate. Uh, this is the agreement that I was talking about earlier. We've automatically accepted that. And it publishes an entry to a transparency log. And then the signature is also hosted in the registry alongside the image. Uh, it's stored there. Then for the sake of example, we have a verification job, which verifies the image. Um, this requires no credentials at all. It does not require any keys. It just does this using uh, the public key infrastructure hosted by Sigstore. And this image is valid, but you typically would not want to do verification in the pipeline. What you would want to do is have your Kubernetes cluster uh, verify that the image is signed. And you can do that using 
the six to our admission controller. Oh, I'm sorry, it's called policy control. Uh, and that's this project here. I should have had this open already, but you can use the policy controller in order to have admission rules under Kubernetes cluster that say uh, you're not allowed to run images that aren't signed. And you can do this to make sure that the image has gone through code reviews and approval and so on if you verify that uh, the image was built by a pipeline that's on a protected branch, such as main, or maybe one of your release branches or your development branch. And you can use protected branch rules to ensure that people cannot merge any changes to those branches without approvals. Um, and this lets you add an extra layer of control to ensure that people cannot run arbitrary images in the Kubernetes cluster. It has to have gone through code review, it has to have gone through approval, it has to have built, built by the CI pipeline. Uh, so I'll demonstrate this quickly here. Okay, so I have a brand new Kubernetes cluster that I'm going to use to demonstrate this. Uh, the first thing to do is install six door Helm charts. I've already done this, so I'm going to skip that step. Then you will install a policy controller. And I'm going to check to make sure that was successful. It looks like it was. Then I'm going to create my production namespace where my app will run. And I'm going to enable policy verification for this namespace. Then I have to uh, add the policy to the cluster. I'm going to show you the YAML file for it real quick. It's a cluster image policy, and it's going to apply to all images. And then this is my assertion that says, these images have to have been signed on gitlab.com and they have to be for my project on the main branch. Uh, so what this means is, is that any images that were built outside the main branch, like on a merge request, on a development branch, uh, in any of those pipelines, they're not going to be able to be allowed. They're not going to be allowed to run into produ in production. Uh, so uh, apply this policy file. Uh, it is using the short form extension. Okay. So now that I have the policy set up, uh, what happens is this is going to do signature verification on my images now. So if I go over here to pipeline and if I find a pipeline, uh, I have a couple of pipelines for main, but here's, here's a, a patch branch that I was working on. And this pushed an image, uh, but the image wasn't ready, um, didn't have any code review, it didn't have any approval from other uh, people. So this image might not be good. Um, and I have, I have, you know, a deployment that uses this image and I'm gonna try creating this deployment with the one from the development branch. And so Kubernetes 
did not allow me to create this deployment because of the emission webhook denied the request. And it's because signature verification failed for the authority defined in my policy. And the subject that it got was RepHead's main patch 1209. So this is working exactly the way it should be. Uh, there was a signature, but it didn't have the correct subject because it was not built on the main branch. So now if I go back to the pipeline and I try this image that was built on main, and I'm gonna create a deployment with this image instead. And now it works, I'm allowed to create my deployment. Uh, so this is a way that you can have cryptographically verified control, verifiable controls on your Kubernetes cluster that ensure that only images that went through your code review process and your build process are allowed to run in your Kubernetes cluster. Yeah. Thank you.